What's up guys and welcome back to LSJ TV. I'm in uni for a measly one hour yet again today. Uh, I've got my Lean Nutrition Shake Cup as you guys can see here. Ready for that pre-workout after the lectures. Just for that motivation just to get me through a little bit. I have to bring this baby along with me. So let's get on with the day. We'll head to Little Stoke Park. Like Sydney and Seattle, Cape Town and Copenhagen, there's a weekly five kilometer park run. So far, it's got nothing, baby! <laughs> Come on, Bill! <laughs> Billy, you want to walk us through what's happening? Uh, we are currently doing a 55 mile run, <laughs> showing people how easy the London Marathon is. I We've completed it in 10 it. minutes. Yeah. And so. Uh, yeah. And how much are we paying for this year? Nine grand. Nine, nine grand. grand. Nine to do grand. this. So it's more than doing the free park. <laughs> <What's the competition? laughs> Everyone goes People complain about paying the tenner to do the park run. <laughs> We're paying nine grand for this. Get some fucking. Well, I don't like to be too negative on the channel. I don't like to. I like, always like to encourage you. If I ever say anything about uni, I always encourage you guys to go. And because at the end of the day, you're paying for your education, you only get out of it what you put into it. But today I had a one hour lecture um, that was about running and in amongst that we went for a run and uh, there's no other way to put it other than that the look on everyone's faces was just shock and disbelief. Um, but. I still went, I still got the attendance tick and that is the important thing because whether the university lectures admit it or not, there will be a certain bias as to people who turn up and people who don't. So that is that, unfortunately it's just the way it is sometimes but it was a good laugh nevertheless I guess, but to put a positive spin on it, but if that's possible. What's up guys and welcome to today's commentary. So just to start off, I kind of wanted to just go over everything I just said. So. It was one of those days where if you're a student, you can definitely relate to it more than anything, where you do just really think, am I really like, am I, am I really paying nine grand for this? And unfortunately, that was just one of those times. And, and I'm sure every single student watching this can, can relate to that. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Um, also, hopefully you guys are enjoying the extra videos. It just allows me to put more personal content out there and just means that you guys can get to know me and my friends too, actually. Um, uh, quite a lot more so I quite like that personally so again let me know your thoughts in the comment section um, I also love the fact that it's just up in the consistency even more just to the next level so um, with that said let's get into today's workout so as you guys just saw we started off with a flat bench press uh, I actually lowered the weight for the day and focused on doing some quality reps which actually led to an amazing pump which like one of the best pumps i would had in a long time so the next movement was a lap, uh, lap pull down followed by a chest fly uh, I used the machine here, I'm not going to lie, I kind of hated it, um, but I much prefer free weights and cables, I, but as I said, it was absolutely rammed, so we just had to get on with it. Uh, next was an incline dumbbell bench press, uh, when we finally managed to get a bench, again lowering the weight and focusing on nice controlled reps for an absolutely awesome pump. This was then followed by a low pulley row with a rope, um, again something a bit different and actually led to an amazing pump, so I had a massive upper body pump from this workout guys, it was really really good. Um, so finally, uh, the camera actually uh, ran out of battery, so I had to record it off my phone. So for those asking, this is an iPhone 7 Plus. For a phone, the quality is absolutely ridiculous, but obviously um, less, less of a quality than my G7X. But the last set was what I like to call a suicide set or a monster set or anything that suits. You can call it what you want. And as you saw, um, started off with normal bicep curl with an easy curl bar. Uh, followed by an overhead tricep press with the same weight. Once you've completed that, go straight into hammer curls. This way we are hitting the biceps from two different angles. Uh, I'll go into that in a different video. So nice slow controlled reps and then we move on to body weight press ups. Ready to burn out at the end of the workout. The pump from this exercise is just insane. So definitely, definitely give it a go if you want. So that was today's session and that was actually followed up by 600 calorie cardio session which went really, really good. So that's it for today's commentary guys. If you enjoyed it, drop a like and enjoy the rest of the video. 
it's better. Okay, how's it going guys? Made it back from an absolutely awesome gym session and an amazing, amazing cardio session. I can honestly say that I've never felt so good after a cardio session. I did 600 calories after a chest workout, after having only one meal and I felt like I could keep going. That I was just in the zone, just in a mental focus. I was just on another level. I've never had anything, any feeling like that before. So um, it was good, it was good. I came out of the gym feeling amazing. Now what we're doing is making dinner. We've got uh, some rice on the go here, some muscle food, beef hash steaks, and what we're gonna do is have some green beans with that as well. So getting those micros as well as those macros. So see you guys when it's done. Right, okay guys, so here is the finished product. One beef hash steak and uh, a lot of green beans. I've actually been snacking on those while I've been cooking. So um, while uh, waiting for the rice and the, and the burger to be finished. So uh, there was more than that, but there we go. And the serving of rice as well so I'm gonna enjoy this and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit so just a little subscriber update uh, this video was actually all about it so go check that out if you haven't already but currently as you can see it says 346 on my own page there but then if I click on my name at the top as you can see here it says 361 so it says 346 here but 361 there like, I just have absolutely no explanation as to any of this, how, like, I, mind is just blown. All right, how's it going, guys? So it is currently the next day. I've been to uni. I'm now back, back home, ready to chill and go to the gym later on tonight. It is leg day, so that means lean nutrition pre-workout. All links and discount codes in the description box, as always, guys. So use that while you can. This morning, thanks to the support of Lean and all their supplements and everything like that, I finally, finally had a brand new low weigh-in of 174.3 pounds, and that was down from 176.8, so it was about two and a half pound uh, difference to the lowest weigh-in which is good because it literally I've been stuck there for about two weeks um, and my body decided to do that stupid thing that it loves to do and uh, loves to make tracking macros and tracking weight loss and tracking fat loss and everything it just loves to make it difficult for me and so um, it just for some reason it just holds on to that weight and holds on and holds on and holds on and then one day it just decides to drop off like it has done. Like I said, two and a half pounds down, but I was at that weight for around about two weeks. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but it does just make it a little bit more difficult to track and can sometimes just get in your head a little bit and thinking why you're not losing any weight. But nevertheless, just stay consistent and stay confident with everything that what you're doing and the results will come. Also, just to finish off today's video, guys, um, a few people have been asking me on all sorts of social media, on, on Instagram in particular, what I do to sort of food prep. And so, like today, I made a tuna pasta salad. So there was 50 grams of, of pasta in there, one tin of tuna, a shit ton of lettuce, and a shit ton of cucumber, peppers, and all that kind of stuff. And it was actually really, really good, but I don't always want that. I just tend to prep healthier foods that I don't mind eating cold, because a lot of things, like if you try and have cold rice, that tends to be not very nice, but I don't mind cold pasta. So I tend to switch the two up, depending on where I am and, and, and what I'm feeling like. But trust me guys, if I can advise you with one thing, to bulk out your meals, it is to use fruit and vegetables. Salad in particular just massively, massively bulks out the meal. And so salad is your best friend when you're cutting. Well, actually, no, it's not your best friend. It's kind of like that friend that you're around because you have to, but not because you want to. Kind of like Jake. So hopefully you've enjoyed today's video guys. If you have, then let me know by leaving a like, comment and subscribe if you are new to the channel because there are gonna be loads, loads, so much more good content in the run up to and post body power as well. So subscribe if you're new to the channel. Actually, before body power, let me know what kind of videos that you guys want me to make. What what kind of content do you want to see on the channel? Do you want to see a, a full day of eating, a Q&A or anything like that? But put your suggestions in the comments below and I'll get back to you if I see the comment guys. So thanks a lot for watching guys. As always remember, no regrets. And I'll see you guys in the next video.